Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm here to share with you my long-awaited skincare routine. I have been trying to film this video for you guys for weeks now. For weeks, but I feel like every time I shot it, there was something wrong, whether it's my hair, I didn't like how I styled my jewelry, my skin was like breaking out, all sorts of all sorts, but I'm here today to deliver and share with you guys the products that I've currently been loving and products that I'm actively using to clear my skin. I'm gonna share with you guys today how I remove my makeup and what products I use to treat um, the issues that I'm currently facing, which is you know acne prone skin, um, some hyperpigmentation, fine lines, um, clogged pores, that sort of thing. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first product I have for you guys is by L'Occitane and it's their Divine Cleansing Balm. Now I use several balms to clean my makeup, but um, to be honest, I go between these three here um, depending on the kind of day I'm having. If I was wearing my makeup for just like hours, I would definitely go in with the pharmacy. Um, for the milk, I would go in if I really have on a lot of like eye makeup, which is really rare, but that's what it's there for. And this is more of like a lighter cleansing balm. I usually like to use this when I'm not wearing any makeup, but today I really want to use this. So we're going to go in with the L'Occitane Divine Cleansing Balm. I prefer to use my cleansing balm in the shower because it really um, gets messy. I'm going to show you. So I'm gonna apply it here, but then we're gonna wash it off in the shower. I'm gonna scoop some out. I'm just gonna put it in my hand. And you basically just rub this into the skin. And you're gonna realize that it's just melting all your makeup off. Do you see that? When you're done, you're gonna look something like this. Now, it's really messy as I said, like you could wash this off in your sink, but I have like an all white situation here, so I don't even wanna do that, so we're gonna do this in the shower. I'm now in the shower and I'm gonna go in with my Mortel Divine, this is their foaming cleansing cream, and I'm just gonna use this on top of the cleansing balm. And literally all my makeup has melted off, so now I'm just going to wash my face, and you guys will see. Nice and clean. You know that squeaky feeling like your skin has when it's really clean? That's what I'm experiencing now, but in a non-drying way. So yeah, let me finish up my shower and I'll catch you guys back at the vanity. I'm gonna go in with my Sol Wasu. This is the first care activating serum. And this is basically a serum activator. So this product is like what you'd apply to your skin first and foremost because it allows every other product that follows to really penetrate your skin. So it really just makes sure that your serums work and do their job. I really just like to apply this first and foremost and I kind of just pat it in until it's nice and tacky. I went in with my Clarins lip oil just to kind of add a little sheen to my lips. And then now I'm going to go in with my L'Occitane Reset Serum here. L'Occitane has this like Immortal line which promotes like anti-aging, um, reversing of like aging signs. And although I'm, you know, I'm still young and everything, I still try to use products that promote like anti-aging. That's why I'm very, diligent with my sunscreen and things of that nature. So while this serum absorbs, let's talk about my Dr. Dennis Gross um, Universal Daily Peel. You are able to use this every single day. So the first step is to exfoliate and smooth and then the second is for like an anti-aging like neutralizer. So I use this pretty much every single day. I'm only skipping today because, because I did do a little exfoliation this morning. So I don't want to go in with this because it's basically like an exfoliating thing. So I'm not going to use that tonight. And so I'm going to go in with my Curology. And the formula I have here is Tretinoin 0.04%. We have Clindamycin 
niacin and we have azaleic acid. Let me use a literal pea size amount. Usually I go in with like so much of the product, but I kind of find that less is more when you're using any sort of retinol product. Less is truly more. So I'm gonna do just the pea size and as you can see, it's distributing nicely. Like you don't need a lot. And when you use too much, your skin just kind of freaks out on you, starts to peel and you know, you're kind of just ruining your barrier and then you have to go in and repair that. So less is more, trust me. So finally, I'm gonna go in with my Curology Rich Moisturizer. And this is the moisturizer that comes in the kit. I love to use it because it's thick enough and it really helps to like lock in whatever moisture and not leave me feeling dry throughout the night because with tretinoin very 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 drying that's pretty much it for my evening skincare i'm gonna come back to you guys in the am to share with you what my skincare looks like for the daytime because it is slightly different and i didn't want to end this video without sharing that part with you so i will see you guys in the morning Basically just brush my teeth and like just put some cold water on my face just to kind of wake me up. And I like to jump in with my faded topicals brightening and clearing serum. All I know is I cannot use this in the same routine as my tretinoin. So I use it in the daytime. Now this is a very intense like it's gonna clear up your dark spots, right? Um so it's it works. But I'm going to encourage you, if you pick this up, please, please, please use sunscreen. So for sunscreen, I'm gonna be using my Super Goop Play sunscreen. And I am pretty generous when it comes to this. I kind of just put a whole bunch on and sometimes I reapply throughout the day um, because of just my routine that I'm on right now. I just cannot afford for the sun to just undo all the progress that we've made. And I don't mix it out, I don't blend it in com completely because I'm gonna go in with my gua sha tool. Can you guys even see anything? It's so bright. And I kinda just go in and I kinda just, you know, try to slim or de-puff my face because I do get puffy in the mornings. can see the difference with my face like do you see how the side is just completely lifted it's insane also if you don't have a gua sha tool you can definitely use your finger especially go in the crevice of like your cheekbones is really nice um you know that works too so yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely have the products linked for you below. Um, next up, I really want to do like an in-shower body care routine. Um, so let me guys know if you'd want to see that. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.